Hi, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm excited today. We're going to start a brand new series, and we're calling our series, Are You Nuts for Nuggets? Are You Nuts for Nuggets? And we're going to be going through the first mention study Bible by Brother Kevin Mann, M-A-N-N, -N, two N's. Brother Kevin Mann, first mention study Bible, Google it and get you one. Now, someone may ask, how come you're reading other people's work on your YouTube channel? And let me first of all say that uh, Dr. David Walker, who we just used his books in our last two is my personal friend, and it was done at, with his permission. And Brother Kevin Mann, who put together this first mention study Bible, is also my personal friend, and this is done at his with his permission. And uh, let me put it like this: Oh, Clint Eastwood said, "What did Clint Eastwood say?" Clint Eastwood said, "A man's got to know his limitations." And uh, there are just guys who <laughs> are way smarter, more organized than me. <laughs> and so I would much rather share their stuff with you than the ramblings and fumblings of my own limited brain. And, you know, that, that's what I've been doing for decades, I have been sharing what I've been taught. And that's what we all do. I thank God for the teachers, preachers, and leaders that God has placed in the body of Christ and that have edified us and that and as we have followed them, as they followed Christ, as lo and as they've stayed within the lanes and stayed true to the book, um, you know, uh, I didn't go and come in and find out everything I know about the Bible all by myself. I think I was built on the foundations. And y'all y'all know I love Dr. Ruckman and uh, many other men of God who have, uh, who have sown the Word of God into my life. And uh, so, Brother Kevin Mann is one of them. And this guy is... Ding, ding, on the money. He's another one like Dr. David Walker, another one like Dr. Ruckman, uh, that, uh, man, 99.9% .9 of the time, anything I read is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I've chosen to uh, share this with, with you is because it's just so good. And he is a math guy. And he's, i tell you, he reminds me a lot of this other guy, um, that's on YouTube, and that's Brandon Peterson, Truth is Christ, Brandon Peterson, who just ha also has a mathematically genius mind, and these guys are actually going in and finding stuff in the book that I don't think anybody else has brought to our attention before, and it's not if they're not making stuff up, but there's just stuff in here that hasn't been dug out in the past. And I, I really, really endorse these guys, and, and, and they're not making stuff up for likes, clicks, shares. They're not doing it for attention, for notoriety. They're not trying to uh, uh, be known because they're seeing and hearing some new thing, amen, because there's a lot of that out there. There's a lot of danger. There's there's guys that are willing to sacrifice the truth just to be the guy with the new novel revelation and, oh, you need to listen to me because I got, I got, I'm going to correct everybody else. I got, and those guys are heretics, amen, and uh, we've, you know, uh, we, we, we've named, we've named some of them in, in previous videos, but there are guys that have stayed true to the book and, and stayed within the lanes, and Brother Kevin Mann is one of them. So I think we'll start these videos off as saying, uh, uh, if you're ready, right? <laughs>
<laughs> Grab that old cup of mud, a pull up a seat, <laughs> and let's man it up. Amen. <laughs> let's pray first. Father, we love you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for our salvation. We thank you for the, for the Holy Bible. And help us to just dig nuggets out of your word today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, so, man, this thing is purdy. I'm telling you, get you one lamb skin. This ain't bonded leather, man. This is 100% pure lamb skin through and through. Got that new car smell. Man, yeah. But what's inside? Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. Amen. So, the, uh, the first section in here, and we'll just, and with this introduction, which I've already used up some time, uh, we're just going to go through this section, which is the basic meaning of numbers in Scripture, all right? Um, and uh, we, we're beginning nuggets in Genesis, and so we're going to, we're going to lay the groundwork on biblical numerics before we even get out of the garage here, amen? So uh, we look at uh, Genesis chapter 1, we find God, creation and the universe, union and singularity. So one is one of the numbers for God. The other is three. Three and one and one and three and the one in the middle died for me. The Godhead is not 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, but the Godhead is 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. These three are 1, 1 John 5, 7. 2, Genesis 2, we see 1 divided, Eve taken from Adam, 2 individuals. 2 is the number for division and separation. And the number for witness, she is bone of my bone. Matthew eighteen sixteen, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Genesis 2 and 23, and Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Amos 3, 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? Genesis 3, chapter 3. We have three personages, the serpent, Satan, the woman, and the man. There is three is the number for any trinity, whether holy or unholy. The holy trinity is God the Father, God the Son, or Word, and God the Holy Ghost. The unholy trinity is is found in Revelation 16, 13. The dragon, Satan, the beast, the Antichrist, and another beast, the false prophet. Genesis 4, 4. 4 is the number for the earth. There are four directions or corners of the earth, north, south, east, and west. There are four winds from those directions. The earth was cursed for Adam's sake, and the crops of the earth were cursed for Cain's murderous act against his brother Abel, a type of Christ. The voice of thy brother's blood crieth out unto me from the ground, and thou art cursed from the earth. Men began to spread over the earth. 5, Genesis chapter 5. 5 is the number for death. The first mention of died is found in Genesis 5, 5. And he died. See also Acts 5, 5. The fifth book of the New Testament where you have the first death recorded in the Bible after the ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ. 6. Genesis 6. 6 is the number for man. He was created on the sixth day. The word man appears 
six times in Genesis 6 and 18, three times six times total in the book of Genesis. Just by accident, the one Noah chosen to save the remnant of man and animal flesh is said to be 600 years old when the flood was upon the earth. Seven is perfection. Six is short of perfection. Seven. Genesis chapter seven. Noah completes the ark. Seven is the number for completion, perfection, and oath. The number seven is the word for Sabbath in the Hebrew language. Man is totally and destroyed in Genesis 7. Man is totally destroyed in Genesis 7. Genesis 8. Totally and completely destroyed in Genesis 7. Okay, I think we found a little typo. <laughs> Amen. All right. Genesis 8. 8 is the number for new beginnings. There are eight people saved from the flood in the ark. The eight in the ark stepped out onto a whole new world that had never been like this before. Amen. Eight. Genesis 8. Genesis 9. 9 is the number for fruitfulness. God told Noah in the new world to be fruitful and multiply. 9 is also the Holy Ghost depicted by the dove sent from the ark. 10. Genesis 10. 10 is the Gentile kingdoms. In Genesis 10.10, 10, we see the first use of the word kingdoms in Scripture. Noah was the tenth from Adam. 11. 11 is the number for tribulation, confusion, disorder, and chaos. In Genesis 11, we find the word Babel. There is where the languages were confounded. 12. Genesis 12. 12 is for Hebrews. Abraham, the first Hebrew, is called out in Genesis 12. The first use of the word Hebrew is found in Genesis 14, 13, and the twelfth word in the verse. 13. Genesis 13. 13 is without controversy the number for rebellion, wickedness, and sin of all types. Sodomy and anything said to be an abomination or is accursed in Scripture. Notice Genesis 13.13. 13, the first use of the words wicked sinners, 13 letters. Concerning the sin of homosexuality, 13 letters. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, 13 letters. Being destroyed with fire and brimstone, 13 letters in Genesis 13. Just a coincidence? I think not. God's fingerprints are all over the King James Bible. Amen. We will bring attention to these and other numbers and their meanings as we progress. The word God appears 32 times in 31 verses of Genesis chapter 1. The first verse to exclude the word God is verse you guessed it, 13. This is significant to notice as we journey through the scriptures, for we will see that the number 13 is negative 85% of the time. The combination of a man, 6, and its multiples, and a 13, rebellion, and its multiples, is 100% of the time a spiritual train wreck, which we will see played out over and over again in the scripture. 13 and 6 are the two prominent numbers that surround the man of sin known as the Antichrist. 13 letters, Judas Iscariot, 
13 letters, and a man of Kerioth, 13 letters. Amen. And you ain't going to find any of that in any of your Hebrew or Greek. <laughs> this is your King James Bible. Amen. Fingerprints of God. So that is your basic meaning of numbers in Scripture. And uh, I'm going to have to text my, my brother. You know, this is the very first edition just came out. And anytime a new Bible comes out, first edition, try as hard as we can. <laughs> I know when the Ruckman Reference Bible came out um, I, into the fourth and fifth edition, I was still finding a typo and from prison writing to Brother Donovan there at Bible Baptist and saying, hey, I found another one. <laughs> and then it would be fixed in the next edition to come out. So that's the first one. And uh, that's the first little typo uh, that, that we saw in that verse. And I'll let him know about that. Amen. But as you can see already, I think if that, that should have wet your whistle. That should have given you a little teaser and a little taste of, uh, of the good stuff yet to come. I'm excited about going through this book, uh, uh, this, this study Bible, and the nuggets from each book of the Bible with you uh, with, with, from the, with the help of somebody that has a math brain, which I do not have. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy this series, and we'll see you in the next video.